Good morning. Uh, this is our first day in Tokyo on the Gumball Rally. We flew yesterday from Bologna in Italy. We sadly had to leave the Porsche GT3 there because we both signed on to the rally at the very last minute. And uh, as a result, we didn't manage to put the car on the plane in time. However, we have managed to wrangle ourselves a new Aston Martin DB11, which we are walking around. I wonder what that noise is. Uh, trying to find in this underground car park, which we have no idea. We found, oh, there's two DB11, oh, there's three DB11s here. I mean, we've been experiencing some pretty special situations recently. Yeah. What we had was a key handed to us and we have no idea which which three of these DB11s is ours. How unreal is that? What a ridiculous oh no, situation. Which DB11 We're is gonna ours? play DB11 roulette. Yep. With the key and uh, find out which one's ours. And I literally feel more blessed right now than I ever have. What the heck? <laughs> All right, check this out. Japan. <laughs> so, I never thought I would be in this situation, but this is the moment of truth. Uh, which DB11 is ours? Okay, while we are extremely ecstatic that we do have the Volante, so the obvious benefits are that we can take the roof off and we can enjoy the ambience of Japan in all its glory. I yep. mean, one of my favorite things, and these are often I talk about the things that we can't convey on camera, is like of course. the smells. Oh yeah? Like just driving through the countryside, the smells, the sounds, I think you get such a greater sense of connection of your driving environment with the roof down. Yeah. of a way of beginning this day uh, I mean that our last 24 hours was beyond incredible and now we are following a Bugatti Chiron through Japan <laughs> Osaka and they said that the rally would get better and better I didn't believe them oh and it did it did And welcome to the main event of the day. Now, every Gumball 3000 pretty much has a stop at a track along the way at some point during the week. Now, normally I get excited about track days anyway, but when am I ever gonna get the chance to immerse you guys in a track day in Japan? For those of you guys who might have just joined the channel, welcome and thank you for watching. Uh, I'm based out in the UK. This is my first time to Japan, and in what world Am I going to be spending time on a race circuit just outside of Osaka? Probably never. So, let's check out what this new uh, V8 Aston Martin is all about. Granted, it is the Volante, but today is all about good times, not about lap times. So let's point you forwards and immerse you in what Central Circuit of Japan is all about. This rally gets crazier and crazier. I mean, I know it's not exactly the craziest thing being in a d dinner jacket on a racetrack, but it does look fairly abstract. And <laughs> against the Gumball rally environment, it's both contrasting and appropriate at the same time. All right, let's do this. Well, 
this is a first. I mean, I just never imagined that I would be doing a track day in Japan. <laughs> in a DB11, no less. And this is the wonderful V8 version, which, from what I can tell so far, is just a little bit more on its toes. <laughs> it feels lighter. I mean, it is lighter, not dramatically, just by the sheer nature of it having four less cylinders than its V12 bigger brother. Just feels a more agile car. But less of the car talk for now. I'm following an R8 V10, the facelift generation that went to the twin clutch before we eventually had the new R8, and a Lamborghini Huracan. <laughs> In Japan, it's so cool. I can tell you the brakes on this car are great. What a wonderful experience. Now we're not going 10 tenths for several reasons. First of all, I don't know the track at all. I mean, I haven't even completed my first lap yet. We're still getting to know it. But second of all, we are on a rally that has to continue its journey for the next few days on the road. And we don't want to give these cars ultimate death because we have to nurse them back to the start finish line of the actual Gumball Rally. Here we go, there's the R8, and we're a full chat up the rear of the Lamborghini Huracan. Wow. It's just, all I'm thinking about right now is looking back on this moment. So, uh, I've often said that it's a shame in lots of scenarios like this where they are absolutely breathtaking moments. We sometimes don't appreciate them while we're actually doing them. It's not until we get back home that we realize that yes, that actually happened. <laughs> and this is one of those moments where <laughs> I'm driving an Aston Martin that I collected this morning via DB11 roulette. <laughs> and I'm now chasing a Lamborghini Huracan around a circuit called Central Circuit, just side of Osaka, Japan. <laughs> it's unbelievable. The things we do on the Gumball are so special. And I feel honored to be here, but even more happy to be able to bring you guys this experience. It's fabulous. And I've got to tell you, despite the fact that this car is indeed a big Grand Tourer, <laughs> it doesn't hang around, it's lovely. I definitely prefer this to the V12. As wonderful as that V12 engine is, there's something about this, the way that this feels under more agile circumstances. Corners like this under heavier braking seems to stop better. It doesn't quite have the same straight line punch, but it has a wonderful tone to it. That is a really late apex there. Wow, honestly, yes, it's a Grand Tourer. Yes, it's not a track car. But honestly and truly, I think the V8 version of the DB11 is actually my favorite version. I guess one day they'll do a DB11 AMR V8. That'll be cool. I recently drove the V12 AMR and I really enjoyed that. If they apply the same treatment to the V8, it's gonna be amazing. And don't get me wrong, it's not a track car. And yes, the gearboxes are more conventional, automatic, 
but you kind of don't care. It is what it is. It's a lovely Grand Tourer. We are yet to have the roof off, so I think we'll do that on our second leg over to the hotel on our final run of the day. But I'm really impressed, and we were giving a hurricane a good run for its money. Now, granted, neither of us knew the track very well, and as I mentioned, it's not about driving 10 tents. It's just about taking you guys along for the ride and sharing my very first experience in Japan at a track day. I mean, when am I ever going to do a track day in Japan again? What a wonderful experience. Anyway, we still have some miles to cover. Make our way to the next stop. Okay, so we finally made it to our hotel for the evening. Ultimately, as beautiful as Japan is, it's not actually that big. So Gumball have purposely spread out each leg so that uh, we can get to experience the most of the country. Speaking of which, experiences don't get much better than seeing a Bugatti Chiron. So this joined us at the track today. It's always an honor to see a Chiron, but to have one as part of your group, moving, active and live on a track, that was super, super special. Okay, so here we have two very significant cars. If you watched the video a couple of days ago, this is the 300 SL that we were swiftly following through Italy to Bologna Airport to drop off the GT3 only a few days ago. The unique thing about this car is that it has been fitted with a modern day AMG engine with uprated discs, wheels, suspension, even power steering so on the outside it looks like the classic aesthetic of the original 300 SL but with the running gear and engine of a modern day AMG. Very fortunately I have done the gumball with the owner of this car for the last few years so I've uh, gone and asked him to show us underneath the hood and there it is E60 AMG block. Look at that it's so abstract seeing a classic car with such modern day running gear. Look, there's even carbon fiber components here. Next to it, yep. completely opposite world, we have a bona fide, genuine hypercar. The interesting thing about hypercars is often the things that you don't see. Yeah. So crazy stats like, take for example, the surface area of the catalytic converters in this car add up to the equivalent of 30 football pitches. I mean, that, what? 30 football, the same surface area as 30 football pitches is the same surface area as the catalytic converters in this car. It pumps 800 liters of fluid around the engine every minute to keep it cool. It can drain a tank, That's pretty cool. a full tank at full speed in six minutes, flat. Keep going. You can have a lifetime warranty on the car. Dust cap on the air valve weighs a few grams. At top speed, the centrifugal rotation amplifies its weight 3,000 times its own weight. Yeah. Meaning that the dust cap weighs around about 7 kilograms. So that's 7 kilograms of rotational mass just from the dust cap. These were engineering problems that don't exist below that speed. As always, thank you so much for watching. Ciao!